Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Um, got a small order from Tackle Warehouse that I figured I'd show you guys before I put everything away. And um, just a kind of a, a channel note, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, I am leaving for Florida. Originally, this was the original plan. The original plan was March 11th. Um, you guys have heard me talk about, you guys who follow the channel, that my mom has rented a house in Florida for, uh, for the winter. So... The plan was to come down in March, different dates here and there. Um, originally, we were going to go down March 11th. Um, I was going to work the uh, the outdoor show with Pete, Stoneman's on Lures, but then Pete decided not to do the show. So then we were going to leave on the 8th or the 7th, whatever, and now we've decided to go on the 4th. So Monday, I'm going to start driving to Florida. So videos I'm gonna are going to be a little... Um, in and out, you know, for the for next week and probably the middle of the week after. I'm going to go for about 10 to 12 days. So I'm going to do, um, kind of probably try to do like what I did when I took drove my mom down there in, in, uh, in January, early January. You know, I'll just do a lot of shorts. I know I'm going to stop at a few Bass Pros and look for some other local tackle shops. So whatever I find, you know, fishing related down there, I'll definitely share with you guys. So uh, I may not get a chance to do a lot of full length videos during that time. Um, but you'll definitely see the stuff that I that I get at least in shorts for that for that time, and then I'm sure once I get home, I'll, I can do a, a video on everything that I might have gotten here and there. Because I told my I told my wife, I said, well, from from here to Florida, if we drive down through all the states we go through, there's 27 Bass Pros. So how many of them do you think we can we can hit? And she, of course, she thinks I'm crazy, which it would be crazy to try to do. But I know of at least one or two, maybe three that I'm that I drive right by that I'll probably stop in and and do a little do a little. Uh, exploration because I you guys know I stopped at that one in Bristol uh, Tennessee last time I'm sure I'll stop at that one again and I know there's another one I don't know if that's Georgia or not that we go right by when I drove down with my mom there in January I just drove by this time I'm sure I'll take a stop in and, and check it out and then who knows what I'll what I'll find on the way back and I always like to look for other tackle shops when I'm down there so I know there's that one across the street from where my mom is staying so I'll definitely go there again they had some nice stuff so I'll keep you guys informed on the, the stuff I get while I'm away. But um, I wanted to show you this order. I'm going to try to do as many orders, or many orders, as many videos as I can um, the next couple of days so I can, you know, kind of show you the stuff that I've gotten and any other things I decide to do here before I go on vacation. So uh, let me show you this Tackle Warehouse order. Now, there's nothing here you guys haven't seen me get before. Things you know I love and that we've talked a lot about uh, the last few months. What I did was I got three more of that queen tackle that half ounce tungsten jig which you know i like and they had this you know i'm pretty sure it's over now but tackle warehouse had that that i guess they called it their spring sale and everything was like 20 15 20 percent off so that was i wasn't even going to order anything and then they had to sell and the stuff that i wanted that i used was on sale so so i took advantage of it so this is that uh, that the blue craw color that i really like and if you guys can see that how well you can see that and as i've said with these these um these these skirts from from queen tackle definitely have that coffee scent uh to them which is really cool i like it um i think that's what it is <laughs> it certainly smells like it but i like that i, I use this uh, this blue crawl one a lot it has the blue strands in there the brown and i guess you know you could call that like that bard like watermelon or green pumpkin but this is a great color if you guys haven't tried you know the uh, the queen tackle tungsten flipping jig it's a really nice jig i really grown to, to to love it the last few years so i use it a lot if i'm not putting my own together these are the ones i'm usually using if i'm using flipping jigs pretty much it's become the queen tackle the queen the ones i put together from bass tech that i put the skirts and the rattles on the queen tackle which i do add rattles to because they don't come with rattles and this is like your typical arky style head and then the different tungsten uh, flipping jigs from beast coast that's pretty much it nowadays as far as far as if i'm throwing tungsten but i got one of those the blue craw in the half ounce also grabbed another one of the tennessee tennessee craws that yeah tennessee craw. like i said i don't know how well you can see that writing on there but that Tennessee Crow, which I really like, because it's got some orange on it. You know, I like orange in my in my baits, my jigs especially. Uh, that's a nice looking flipping jig right there, flipping and pitching jig, Arky style head. I'll just add a uh, add some uh, some rattles to that before I uh, 
put it in the box and be ready to go. And the last one I got was just the green pumpkin green one. Grab another one of those. And these are all half ounces. So it's got kind of that same skirt as the other ones. They just put another green layer in there of silicone skirt material. So that was that's it for the jigs. And then you guys know I've talked about these a lot. You know I love this um, this trailer. This is that two that that pig claw trailer from Lake Fork. And I just that, that, I mean a thirty pack was on sale for like six something I forget with the sale because they're on sale already they're marked down because it's closed out and then they marked it even off more because of the um, the uh, spring sale so it's six dollars and 73 cents for a pack of 30 and I said I'm just going to get the two and a half inch size ones that I don't have the colors that I like and that'll be it and I'll, I'll probably pretty much be stocked up for the rest of my life for these with these 30 packs so this is that um, that sour grape color if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't haven't watched it before, you can look back. I talk about these trailers a lot. This is one of my favorite soft plastic. If I'm not throwing pork, soft plastic trailers is this uh, this old um, Lake Fork Tackle uh, Pig Claw trailer, which is discontinued. Tackle Warehouse has them for a great price if you're interested in them. And I did notice one thing. I may have mentioned this in another video, that they were at a certain price, which was lower, and now... After I've done a few videos on them and I've been talking about them a lot and buying a lot, and I know some of you guys out there have bought a few, they raised the price a little bit. <laughs> they didn't have them quite as discount. I don't know if that was because of the videos and because of talking about it, and maybe they saw that it was becoming popular. They figured they'd make an extra buck or two per bag, but when they have it on sale, they, they take a more of that percentage off of what it's already in sale. So when, you, when they have sales, which are pretty frequent, it's a good time to really stock up on them. Plus, it's a 30-pack. You know, even when they're, they're not on sale, it's still cheap for a 30-pack. And I did, I did go on the Lake Fork Tackle site the other day, and they do have a few, not a lot, left over for like $2.99 a pack. So, I mean, if you want to buy just a five-pack for $2.99, you couldn't, too, from, directly from Lake Fork. But they don't have a lot of colors still there. Uh, why they stopped making this, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't selling. I don't know. But it's a, it's a nice trailer. I've always liked these, and when I found I could get more, I did. So that's that sour grape, that two-and-a-half inch size. These are all the two-and-a-half inch size. You know, I, I usually use the three-and-a-half inch size, but... Two and a half is nice too, so now I've, I'm stocked up on that too. Uh, the red shad with the green flake. I got the, a 30 pack of that in the two and a half inch size. And what I like about this is it just isn't just your plain old, you know, red shad, which is a great color, which is a great color, that red and black, but it has that green flake in there, which just gives it a little extra that, that I really like. I hope it comes out on the camera there, but. That with that two and a half with that uh, green flake, it really gives it a little extra that I like. Well, thirty pack of that. Uh, the pumpkin pepper in the two and a half inch, the thirty pack. And this is a great, um, you know, call. I throw this a lot. This pumpkin with like my brown jigs, that'll match up great with the, with any of these really. But probably, even with that blue crocs, it's got more of that brown. But this, and then I always like to put a little of that orange. You guys know I like to use those those dye markers. A little orange there on that, uh, or even chartreuse. But I'll tend to go with orange first on those claws, on that pumpkin. Whoop. Pumpkin pepper. Oh, let's see. The uh, black neon, which is just the black red, which is a great color. As I said in the past, one of my favorite tube colors to flip. But if you're just throwing a black jig, you want to get a little different in the trailer with a little red flake in there. This is a great combo. That black neon. Uh, let's see. Last couple here. This is just watermelon. Just your watermelon seed color. Great natural color. Definitely when I when I throw like these, just these 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 watermelons and these green pumpkins, I always add a little bit to those claws, a little chartreuse or a little orange. But good standard color, would work great with any of these jigs. And the last one is the black neon with the chartreuse claws. 
which is a great, great dirty water the jig trailer. That's a great one. So I, I already had the three and a half inch. Now I got the two and a half inch too, if I want to make my jig a little more compact. So, I mean, I'll use both. I mean, I tend to, as I've said in the past, I tend to go with the three and a half inch first. If I'm not getting a lot of bites on it, I may switch to the two and a half and see if that makes a difference. Maybe that makes it a little more interesting to them if it's not so bulky. But it's a, you know, if you're looking for an economical jig trailer that you haven't tried, that that uh, that Lake Fork Tackle, the pig, pig claw and bulk bags, uh, get them while you can. Who knows how long they'll last on Tackle Warehouse. I know it's a discontinued bait. Um, that's it. That's all I got. It was just a small order. I just wanted to get the rest of these, so you guys do the math. That's six bags, 30 trailers. So it's 180, 180 trailers I got for last me a while. And just to, you know, I'll just do a quick here. I know I've done these before. Let's just take the sour grape one and use that. In case you guys haven't seen any of my other videos, if you're new to the channel, the way I rig these on here. Is I don't recommend that you just take your 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 uh, your chunk or whatever it is you're using, if you're using one of these or any other kind that you like, and just put it on like that. Because as you can see, that is going to move around. You're going to be throwing your jig through the water, and the, the trailer is going to be like that. Don't throw, don't put this type on there. Always thread it through your hook. Now you got to understand this is going to have a, a, a rattle on it, but for this demonstration, it's not really that important. Just go right through the center of the bait. And then you, most of the, most chunks you use, they have like little, little eyeballs or something or something that's in the middle. And then just go, I always go right, like right between the eyes and I pop it out. And then just push it down. And there you go. Now, as I said, I will add rattles to this. So this might sit back a little bit further, but not much. But that's it. I mean, that jig is ready to go. It's very compact. I've got a nice claw trailer. So, the skirt's going to be, you know, moving in the water, and then this tri this these claws are going to be flopping around. So that's a great combo right there. That's the sour grape with that uh, that green uh, green pumpkin green, yeah, that green pumpkin green uh, uh, queen tackle half ounce jig tungsten jig. So that's it, guys. That's it. It doesn't get any simpler than that. And you know, like I said, I like to add rattles. I always have rattles on my jig. Sometimes you take that off and you pull the <laughs> skirt through the hole in there. I'm going to actually pull a piece of the skirt off. But that's our grape trailer. Put it back in the bag for now. So now I've got to take that box out and get all these in there and <laughs> organize my boxes of my uh, pigtail trailers. But, um, but that's it. So I'll put a link um, to these baits. If you guys, you know, are subscribers and have watched a lot of my videos you've seen me do videos on these baits before you know i'm fans uh, i'm a fan of them they're it's a great jig especially um you know if you're in a no lead state like i am tungsten is the way to go and even i just pretty much use tungsten i, I don't remember i haven't thrown a lead jig a lot lately you know when i lived in jersey it didn't matter um now that you know i'm in a no lead state i try to keep it uh, Try to keep it lead free with the tungsten as uh, when I'm fishing. And you know, you've got, you know, a half ounce jig, but you've got a smaller, you know, smaller head there that would be a lot bigger if that was a lead half ouncer. So it's a little more, a little more compact, but that's it. So I'll put um, links to these in the description on Tackleware so you guys can check them out if you're interested, but that's it. Any questions, guys, um, put them in the uh, comments. I appreciate all the comments you guys leave, uh, leave. I love when you guys give me ideas for doing videos. It really is great um, and keeps me motivated and you know gives me ideas of things I wasn't thinking of. Um, you guys wanted a video on stick baits and I'm not a big stick bait guy and a lot of and it's a, been a popular video. So so if you guys you know there's a technique if it's something I know about, um, I will definitely do a video on. Uh, but that's it. So I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.